Robotic and that's of Peter I Parker. Oh, okay, go ahead. Robotic par robotic parents of Peter Parker. O okay, um... Oh, yes. That is all. What, did you think I was... You were expecting something and it was just... What? I don't know what I expected. Um, yeah. that That's all I have to say, because... That was the first Spider-Man comic I ever read. I know it's out of place, but yeah, just just wanted to point that out. Um, so after that randomness, how? No. I don't know why I did that. No. Um, hello everybody, welcome back from my Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 with me, Hunter, and Drunken Dan. Yes, yes, this is that that is that's who you are. I I hope it is. Oh, okay. And it's robotic time. Gosh. Actually, the robotics levels are a bit better designed. That's not their better design, it's just more tolerable. Because you don't have to hear okay every two seconds. Ah, oh, wait, 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 why am I being negative? Why am I being negative? You're the, you're the negative one. Dan, did you, <laughs> my, did you, did you spike my drink with anything? Honestly, honestly, no. You sure? Better not be lying. Better. It's the internet, I have no reason to lie. I have nothing to gain. Mm, no. Well, in any case, if oh, I no. sound a little negative last my... video... You famous. If, if I huh? sound a little negative last video, don't worry. Dan will redeem that in a couple of parts. Poor to be precise. Mm. Oh, You'll see why when we get there. Oh, all the people that played this game know it, and they're probably great and ready to defend it, saying it was a good idea, but they're wrong. And there is the golden, I don't know why I'm, I'm looking at the time, what am I doing? <laughs> what was I doing there? I completely <laughs> forgot. Great texture, so Dreamcast. Switch to the window of my video capture device so I could see to make sure that the thing was recording, and I ran too fast. Gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! You know, I, I still say again, I don't mind as much the robotic ones. They don't feel as much busy work, and there's a bit more to the levels. There's more areas, more platforms. It's not just hit the button, shoot, shoot, shoot! All the time. I mean, there's shoot sections, yeah, but... They're spread out more. So it doesn't feel as competitive. Though that jump is annoying. When you don't have the jet booster. <laughs> what you you don't get the jet booster until the level next after this, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think so. Which is kind of you know, it makes this level harder. Which is, you know you know, kind of a good thing. I think every level would be harder without the damn jet booster. <laughs> Yeah, and then maybe even impossible, but then then again, maybe there's like a... There's like a... You see, this is where I, uh, Also, Sonic CD reference in there, just because... If, if you don't know why that's a Sonic CD reference, listen to the music that plays when you get to the gold ring, the gold pulse, I mean. When you have the Japanese soundtrack on. Just... Want to explain the joke, because I'm great at doing that. Oh. Insert Joker clip here. That's not funny. That's not funny. No, not that Joker clip. God damn it! I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about the one in the in the flashback episode. Or one of the flashback. It's the, it's the one where he has the stupid looking design. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really don't like that design they put at the end of the last season. Yeah, I've never watched the series, but I just look at the design and think, why? Just why? budget cuts, probably. I I would assume budget cuts. It's kind of sad, really, because he looks ugly. He just just looks ugly. Very, very. Ugly. It takes getting used to, honestly, but it's all right. Yeah, I guess. Uh, um, oh, job. I'm gonna backtrack again. You know what? There's a cat up here. Let's go see if we can find his sorry ass. If I can figure out how to rotate the camera. Come on now. This one's a bit of a bitch to see because it's like hard to rotate the camera in this place. Let's see if we can get up. 
There he is. He's just fishing over there. Oh, still here, guys. Herp -a -derp -a -herp -a -herp -a -herp -a herp herp If you do this weird glitch where you like hit the ramp when you're hovering into it from the other side, you go really high up and you actually float over there. I'm not sure if he's a ringer. You really think he's ranked to death. That was too close. That was too close. This is my own goddamn base. I think I put a ramp in it. With the I think I'd put like a secret walkway. Why am I Sean Connery all of a sudden? Hmm. I don't know. I've got to find out just what's going on. You know what? There. I want to see what about Nick Sean Connery. Sounds like it's pop tarts are done. What is so cool? It's hot, but so oh, hot it's cool. We interrupt no. this broadcast for an important news flash. <laughs> there has been a <laughs> he just scratches his ass. Well, that's what you do when you hear British women speaking. I just, he just randomly does that. Yes, like the one you stole. You know, like right from the vault, just a few hours ago. Uh, you he looks stupid like with his black quills and his red streaks. You know what? I'm gonna give half credit to this game. Maybe the reason why they don't recognize him as Sonic the Hedgehog is because half of them died. And these are people just coming into the city not knowing who the hell saved them. Because because they weren't there before. You, you remember that half the people died? Also flashback time. They just never show the part with all the bodies floating in the water. Yeah. Maybe in like an HD remake or something they'll do that. Oh, that would be so dark. That'd be like rated M. Oh. <laughs> also, um, this is exactly like it was in Shadow the Hedgehog for those who've seen my OP of it plug. Um, but it has a lower resolution. The, this, the same backstory of Shadow is the same as in Shadow the Hedgehog, but it's a lot better looking, sort of. Basically, the story of the Shadow the Hedgehog game is. Repeating the Shadow the Hedgehog story, but with aliens. And more guns. And also, Shadow is very, very stupid. And then the what? Wisps come in and they save the Robotnik Land, and stop the Robotnik Land theme park with Sonic, and Tails builds a translator, and they call them the one guy Talker. Yakker. Yeah, uh, we're getting too far ahead here. We're skipping an entire generation of consoles. Let's let's get back on track to this particular console. Um first off But it only had one good Sonic game. Being a being somewhat critical of what just happened before we get to talking about this level, why exactly is Shadow's first thought about what when Maria wanted revenge exactly? Like why is that the first thing that comes to his mind also accidentally using the light speed dash? Because the people from Gun who are Earth people killed everybody that he loved, so now he kills them. Get vengeance! I, I, why, why would Gerald Robotnik... Um, you know what, I, I, I think it's pretty standard at this point that he's either a robot or some kind of alien chimera thingy majigger. But... Magic. Uh, and, and the fact that his DNA structure is chimeric. Long story short, why the hell would Gerald Robotnik build this thing to be a pessimist? Like, really? He's, he's a pessimist. Why? Pacifist. Uh, that's because he's not really a pacifist, he's really a psychopath. He's no, 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 a pessimist. He's kind of like that Lelouch fucker from, like, Code Kiosk, where he's just an evil motherfucker who's out for revenge, but doesn't give a shit about anybody else. I didn't say pacifist, I said pessimist. As in, he is oh. the negative all the time. Like, oh. all the time. Also, how the fuck did he get up there? He's a secret agent. We've been over this in episode one. Yeah, secret agent milk. Anyways, this level... A lot of, lot of speed boosters and ramps. Lots of loops. Lots of, yeah. This this level is pure speed. Like, there's, well, okay, maybe except for this part, but you know, because of these rails, it's still speed. Well, you didn't even have to do that. This level is. <laughs> you just want... Yeah, this is this is actually the fastest way, the, the most non tedious way to get past the section, and ah. so the only way you can get that uh, golden beetle up there. In order to get uh, more points. So yeah, there's a little fun fact. I just completely skipped that really stupid annoying part. Fuck your platforms! Yeah, that's the only really annoying part of the level. Otherwise, this level is like speed. A in fact, I think yeah. that's faster than Speed Highway. No, Speed Highway. No, the, well, 
Shit. You know what? This is kind of like Speed Highway, except that um, you know, the uh, the front of the level is not a satellite view, which makes everything so confusing. It's just darkness. But and <laughs> we're playing Team Dark. But yeah, this is I think one of the fastest stages in the game, next to City Escape. Like, uh, like I said, even faster than City Escape, probably. Yeah, I would say. Maybe, I don't know. I would say it's faster. I'd be like one asshole. Like, Here we go. Huh? I would say faster than City Escape. That might be, that might be me. Uh, there could be like a speed run comparison that someone could do, but I don't feel like doing it because I'm lazy. Hmm. You know what I missed from Sonic Adventure 1, though? The thing like, that tracked your fastest speed. Remember that? Was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it said what your fastest speed was. I missed that. There's a lot of things I missed from Sonic Adventure 1, like gameplay. 